swear my head is getting bigger. <sighs> and not in a good way. Right, so, ladies, gentlemen, boys and girls, good after morning. Yep, it is after morning. And how are we all? Living the dream? I most certainly hope so. I certainly hope that I've got my camera in the right position. I've had to put it on my uh, other helmet today because my normal helmet that I use, one of the uh, retraction systems on it isn't working. So when I flip the visor, when I flip the visor up or down, it pops out, which is annoying. But well, I say it is annoying. And I say it's not its fault. I've, I've owned the helmet for about a year and a half now, I think. And it's the first thing to have gone wrong with it. But at the same time, I sit there talking and saying to myself, it's a bloody, I can't ask when it's a bloody helmet. It shouldn't go wrong, ever. Unless you like drop it or bounce it off walls and stuff. Which, <coughs> I don't like it when it happens. The Amasaurus Rex gave me a hand yesterday in cleaning her, which was nice of her, and now she's all sparkly. And oh good lord, why is there traffic? Now I hear you scream, traffic shouldn't, have, shouldn't be a problem for you, you're on a motorcycle. This is true. Traffic isn't a problem for me because I'm on a motorcycle. It, okay, that's a bit strange. It becomes a problem when you get cars doing this, parking across the entrance to uh, stuff, so leaving junctions open. Which again, again, which I admit we're all guilty of. I've done it. Everyone's done it. And then people will be like, "Well, filter. It gets a bit thin up there for filtering because of the way that this. Uh, come on, little. Come on, Volvo, go." What is this person doing? The world's biggest gap. But anyway, on to the subject of today's vlog. There is a subject. And, um... It starts a little while ago. I, I have a follower and a subscriber called Two for Flinching. And, uh, Two for Flinching lives in Portland, Oregon which something smells really bad up here. I hope there's nothing on fire. That just ruins everyone's day. Mm -hmm. So yeah, Two for Flinching lives in uh, Portland, Oregon. And I live on the namesake of Portland, Oregon. I live on Portland in, in Dorsetshire. And uh, they suggested to me that because I've owned Alice for uh, just over a year now, that I should do a uh, a year on vlog of like how she's behaving and how she handles and you know what my thoughts of it are. And uh, yeah, I could agree with that. There's a man wearing more bags. Uh, yeah, I can agree with that. So I'm, I'm gonna. It will come to fruition at some point. Um, and in, in fact, it's already started to come to fruition in the um, fact that I'm actually writing it. it. Because of the type of vlog it's going to be, most of my vlogs, I get something I want to talk about, I do my research, and then I throw it off the cusp, almost but using the facts that I've actually researched from many sources. And when I do source it, vlogs that have uh, <clears throat> effects that could come from either side, pros and cons, I research for both sides and completely impartial in it. But this one needs a little bit more writing, I think. Now I could be completely wrong and people could say, nah, just go out and do it. Say, say how it is for yourself. 
But um, I could do that, but I don't think it'd be as good for the bike. Because I I would just might make it sound like a complete and utter shite train of a motorcycle, which I don't want to do. I, mean, I, I love my bike. I, I love Aprilia's. I, I honestly do. I mean, so far I've owned two of them. There's one of those silly rules. Now, are you come in bus or what? Let's see. Well, fuck you too then. I let you fucking pull out and you don't even say fucking thank you. You, sir, are a fucking cunt. Fuck it. Fuck buses now. Fuck them all. I can get I can get with letting buses pull out and shit, but it's like say thank you at least. You know, fuck you, fuck you. So, uh, Millie, the Aprilia. Yeah, I'm really. Yeah, I um. I named my bikes really uh, originally. Got sold to uh, get this SP1. And then that died, and that's the story of Alice. So, yeah, now I've got Alice. And I can starting to hear my brakes squeal already, and I only done them yesterday. I think the discs, or rotors, might have got slightly uh, shitty as well, so. 